Hello and welcome back to part two of the season dashboard in our Tableau for Sport series. So where we left off was we're trying to create the following dashboard, which is a, a season summary. And we were creating the six kind of line charts that are along the bottom here. So hopefully you've caught up with that. If you haven't, I'd suggest you go back and watch part one and see how we've just put these uh, line charts together. So next up, I'm going to create the little KPI uh, box that we see here. It's quite straightforward, but again, we're just going to create this and we're going to do that six times as well. So we're going to try and get the formatting right in the first one. So it's quite easy to duplicate then. Okay, so I'm going to give this a name. I'm going to keep to the same kind of format we did here. So clangers was the first one. So I'm going to keep to KPI clangers here. And we're going to add the same kind of stuff, filters. So I'm going to go team is Adelaide. The stat name is Clangers. And I can right click and show that. So we'll be able to change that filter quite quickly. And I'm not going to add the game round this time. This is going to be like an average across the season. So it should be really straightforward. We're going to take the team value. And we're going to drop it on the text. And you can see we get this sum. So we get the total value for the season, but I want to look at an average. Okay. And again, to make this fairly straightforward, I think we might round to one decimal place. Okay. I'm going to fill this entire view. And the reason for doing that is it'll fill whatever space. So you never end up with scroll bars on your dashboard, uh, which is a no, no. So let's center and center. Okay, so that's the basics. I'm going to put in the title up here again, like we did before, it's going to be the stat name. So again, because it's in that angle brackets, it means it's reading the data. So if somebody updates the stat name here, the title changes, which is really what we're after. Okay, so let's have a look at our finished one. And I'm going to go to the sheet here just to have a look at some of the formatting that I did. Okay, so we can see it's 14 bold. And I made this 24. And I've also put in a little bit of explanation text here to explain to people this this is the average per game. Okay. Uh, so let's go and do that. So click on the text, click on the three little dots. I'm going to make that 24. And we'll make it tableau bold. And then underneath, I'm going to write average per game. It's just to help people understand what it is, and we can make it grey and nice and small. Okay, so you can see it fades in the background, but people at least are aware of what it is. And then this was Tableau Bold and 14. I might even make this Tableau Medium, something like that. Okay, again, you can play around with the formatting yourself, but that's a, a very simple kind of KPI. And again, what I'd recommend is tidy up the, the tooltip. So something like season average. You know, so again, it, it, it explains what it is. Uh, and you could even add in the, uh, you know, conceded or the opponent average, that kind of thing. So again, you could add opponent value to the text. And once again, change that to the average. And again, format it to one decimal place so we're consistent. And you could add in, you know, text to say opponent average. So you can kind of see within there. So you could add in a little bit more to that. And um, in my case, I might just throw that into the tooltip. Uh, so we could do season average. And then if I copy that, we could say opponent average and add in the opponent value there. So let's keep that kind of consistent. Okay. So again, you can see you can add you can add loads to that, but it's a very simple uh, text box with with the, the title here. Okay. And again, we're going to do the same thing again. I'm going to now duplicate that and just change this. So the next one was inside 50s. And again, just so I can keep track of my sheets, I'm going to do the same inside 50. 
duplicate team tackles. So KPI for tackles. And you can see once you get the first one right how, how straightforward it is really to build out something uh, much bigger. So clearances. Disposals. And we should have one more handballs. Okay, so we've got six of each, and that's going to form the basis of the bottom part of our. Uh, sorry, this one. It's going to form the bottom part of this section here. All right, so we'll keep going. Um, I'll make the form guide here now as part two, and then we'll pause this video for now. Okay, so I'm going to call this my form guide. Now in my data, if I go back to my data source, it doesn't tell me whether the game was uh, won or lost. Okay, um, so I'm going to have to figure that out. I'm going to figure that out from the goals and the behinds, the scoring system of the AFL. Okay, so that's the first thing I'm going to do, is going to create some calculated fields. Now, by all means, you can do this work in Excel and then bring it in. But part of me thinks is try and keep the raw data as raw as possible. If it's coming from a system or you're exporting it out of your analysis system or you're getting it from a website, then you can do a lot of the calculation work in Tableau and it just keeps it in, in one place. But it's very much a preference. This is stuff you can do in, in Excel or Tableau or whatever you're, you're using. Okay, so we'll do it in a couple of lots. So I'm going to call this team uh, match score, let's say, just to keep it nice and simple. So the way this works is we're going to take if the stat name is equal to, oh, I'm just going to right click and add it to the filters. Uh, what have we got? Goals and behinds. Yeah, it's the plural of the word. So I'm just going to say, if the stat name is goals, then give me the team value. And we have to multiply that by six because a goal is worth six in AFL. Okay, so Tableau will search through all the stat names. If it finds the goals, it'll take the number of goals scored and multiply it by six, and that will give us the, the team match score. Okay. Um, it won't yet, so we're going to plus, and I'm going to copy this. Okay, and this time I want to add in the behinds, which are worth one. Okay, so team match score will take the goals times six plus any of the behinds, and that should give us the, the match score for that team. Okay, and then I'm going to duplicate that. Right click on the calculated field and duplicate it. And we'll go in and edit this. And this is going to be the opponent match score. And the difference here is we want the opponent value. Okay, so we've now got one score versus the other score. And now we can create a final calculated field here to say, I'm going to call it win, loss, draw. And again, we're going to write an if statement. So if the team match score is greater than the opponent match score, then it was a win. Else if the team match score equaled the opponent match score, then it was a draw. Else it had to be a loss, so anything else. So the way an if statement will work, calculate the first one, so it checks the first bucket. If it meets that condition, it takes it out and then checks everything else against the next condition. Okay, and finish with an end. 
So now we have a win-loss draw uh, for each team. Okay, so let's set this up. So again, I'm going to filter for a team for now. So we're going to say Adelaide. We're going to look at the game round. So we've got 1 to 18. And we're going to put the win-loss. Uh, we're going to actually make this a square. And we're going to put the win-loss draw as the label. Now, again, I'm going to make an entire view. I'm going to fix the centering here and um, I want different colors so if we win uh, I want a different color now I'd say I've done something wrong here so I'm going to check my calculation in a minute but I'm going to put the win loss draw onto color as well so let me check my my calculations So let me see, team match score. Do I do this right? So if ever you want to check, you could throw it onto the tooltip. And you can see, and I've clearly made a mistake. So let me go to the one I prepared earlier and see what I did differently. So team match score. wrap them in a sum so let me just check that that's the issue here so they not may not be coming true as numbers is what I'm worried about there and opponent match score I'm gonna make the same change there Some and some. Okay, and something broke. So let's just go back a step here and let's take that. So, win loss draw as the label. Yeah, that looks better. See, I've got a few wins in here and win loss draws the color. So again, I can go in and edit the colors. We make the win green and we can make the losses red. And looks good. Okay. So this looks good. So let me just check a, another team. Yeah, so it looks better. Okay, so uh, that's working. Let's go back to Adelaide. So that's working now. Um, you'll see Tableau has an automatic font, so it changes from white to black. I'm going to change a couple of things here. So I'm going to make it bold, and I'm going to make sure it stays white. And also, I don't want to uh, see the game round here. And I'm going to format this. I'm going to make it uh, a little bit in the background. Yeah. And I'm going to right click and format and I want to get rid of the uh, row dividers so there's no line there okay and again we can hide the title so if we jump back to my main dashboard that we made we can see it's looking pretty similar to that okay so we have our six line charts we have our six KPIs and now we have our form guide. So we're getting there in terms of being able to put this uh, together and then be able to add in the filters of the team crests and stuff and the titles and, and tidy it up. So that will be part three. So thanks for watching.